please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. When you do, don't forget to click on all. Because if you don't, you might not get notified of all of the videos. So make sure you click on all. And don't forget in the comp in the description area, please consider contributing to this particular ministry, either through Patreon or else through the PayPal. Both links are in the description box. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome to all my brothers and sisters in Christ and to all of our lost brothers and sisters in Islam and to anybody else that is listening. Welcome to the Truth Verses. Let us begin in prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, thank you for this day that you have made. Father, we pray that you touch our lives and the lives of the Muslims throughout the world, that you show them the truth, that you bring them to your Son, Jesus, that died on the cross to pay for all of our sins. Lord Father, bless this channel that it does your work that it brings people to your glory, to your Son. We ask this in your Son's most holy name, Yeshua HaMashiach. How does knowledge come of... Jesus being the Son of God. Does it come through the Bible? After all, the Bible says Jesus is the Son of God. That would be a logical conclusion. But what about all of the atheists? Who once was Christian? Like Bart Ehrman. Why is he no longer a Christian? Well, a post on Facebook got me to thinking about such a thing as does most things now, and it gets me to do some looking up. If I do not already have the answers, I do some, I do some studying. Sometimes it takes me just a little while, sometimes it takes a, quite a while to do some studying. 
but I eventually find some answers. And while I was coming up with answers to this, something else struck me because a few people liked a statement of, that I made that someone said something along the lines because I do not want to leave this page and show you and then lose this spot. That what does the Muslim wife do while that of the it is of 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 Muhammad, not the Muhammad, but that of the it is of 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 Muslim man do with the is off with the 72 virgins. And I made the comment somewhat, somewhat along the lines because it isn't showing the full comment. There will be, there will not be any Muslims in uh, it is a wellness of paradise. And I showed two actual prominent statements, one from the Quran and one from a book called The Reliance of the Reliance of the um, It is of Allah's a Traveler. One from the Quran stating that even Muhammad does not know of his salvation and the other from the book of the Reliance saying that one of his closest companions said that even if he had one foot in paradise, he still would not trust Allah because of his deceptions. That comment have gotten me to think about that I remember something else about Islam that the best generation is that first generation and each successful generation thereafter will decline. So the best generation was that first generation while Muhammad lived. And if they didn't know what chance does Muslims have today? But that is for the next video. <laughs> But anyway, anyway, Mr. and Miss Muslim, you are in an awful religion. I just have to say that right off the bat. You are in an awful religion. And it's just getting worse. And I am about to show you why and from a biblical standpoint
The first one is Matthew eleven twenty five. I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven, and this is Jesus speaking to his Father and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Now, right here, wise men who think they are wise, okay? Because the very next verse explains it. Even so, Father, for so it seemed in thy sight, all things are delivered unto me. Okay, you can read the rest of it. Next one, I believe, is in uh, Luke. Nope, John. John fourteen seventeen. John fourteen. Oops, went too far. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Okay, what? The spirit of what? The truth, whom the what world cannot receive, because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him talking to his disciples, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Okay. All right. Next one is 1717. I have already seen that one. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Oh, maybe I have written that one down. No, it is John seventeen seventeen. Okay. <clears throat> then John eight thirty six verses six. Oh, well, let, let's start with John eight thirty six. Now this one is very important because there Muslims is going to say, "Ha, see, there is a contradiction." Uh uh uh. Not so fast. Let's start with John eight thirty six. That is why I put the verses. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Okay. Now, the other verse, John six thirty five through forty. And I think I should have put this one in front because this one is where And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that ye also 
have seen me and believeth not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will no wise cast out. Okay. Are you seeing this? How do you get the knowledge you come to Jesus? And he will not cast you out. But you must come to him. For I come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Okay? But the key verse is 37. If you come to him, he will not cast you out. This is where the beginning of knowledge happens. Mr. and Miss Muslim, <clears throat> this is where the beginning of knowledge happens. You come to him. He can only invite you and he is doing that through us Christians. We are inviting you to him. But it is up to you. Now, now then let's go back to the verse and see if it makes more sense now. John eight thirty six. Okay, no. So, I think that was the wrong verse. Okay, next one is now Colossians 4.3. Withal, praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in bounds. Okay. Paul calls. It's a door. That he prays God to open. Okay, then let's go to Romans 1. There are several verses, 19, 24 to 25, and 28.
because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. How does God show it unto them? Back to John six thirty five to 40. You come unto him. And, and things in Christianity starts to make more sense. Wherefore God also gave them up for uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. What do you Muslims do? You serve a rock. You serve a rock in the middle of a desert. Okay, and what is the last one? It's uh, 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Okay, what? They did not like to retain God in their knowledge. So God gave them over to a reprobate mind. These people came to God and was accepted, but then they decided to turn their backs on God, and so God turned them over to a reprobate mind. This is what happens in Christianity. Okay. So we find back in John sixteen, uh, John six, that. Jesus does not turn you away, and things become more clear because he reveals things to you. Okay? You are not turned away, and when you're not turned away, things are revealed. It is when you turn your back on Jesus.
that is when the problem occurs. That is how the truth is revealed. Mr. and Miss Muslim, I know that some of the stuff that we Christians believe may feel weird and totally against what you've been taught. But when you accept Christ, and start to believe in him, Things start to make sense. That is why Christians don't see a problem with the Trinity. Is it time yet, Mr. and Miss Muslim? Is it time for you to leave Islam and to come to Christ? Come on. Well, I've messed up. And I don't know how long it's been that way. Somehow, I have trimmed off some part of this little bit of the salvation part. So as of today, June 21st, I'm having to do a new one, so I am sorry for the messed up. So, a few months ago, a friend of mine, don't know if he was specifically targeting me without actually stating my name, or if he was just doing a general video. But he was saying on a video that after we believe, we are, we are saved. All of the rest of it is, well, works-based, yet at his and yet at his congregation, he baptizes. And he has said so, that he has been baptized 200 and something. So I know that he baptizes still. The thing is, everything on this meme has scriptures to back it up. Everything. So it doesn't matter what he says or what I say. 
it can be found in the Bible. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Now, if you want to think that salvation happens right here, that's on you. If you want to believe that, that salvation happens right here, that is really what that one verse that I just quoted. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Now, I do understand and I believe, honestly believe, that Elohim understands there are certain extenuating circumstances that you may not be able to get baptized, like in a drought or that you are in a Muslim country and you have to, at least for now, hide that you are a Christian. I understand that. And I have absolute faith that Elohim understands that. So baptism in the, those two extreme circumstances may not be a viable option at this time. Okay. But once you get into a position where you can be baptized and it's safe to do so, it is important that you do so because the verse does say, and is baptized. So, although I think he may have been targeting the back part of my videos that's on him if he wants to have this line here, then that's on him. Now, once we are saved, now, these two repent and confess this there are arguments of where they can be whether whether before or after you are baptized there is arguments about that But you have to absolutely hear
And these little memes has a remain faithful. What does that even mean? It took me a few months of studying. This was not an easy item to study, but I finally figured it out. And boy, did I figure it out. So, when are you Muslims going to get it? There is a problem. No, not a. There are several problems potentially counting into the hundreds of problems about Islam. And I don't know if I will have the time to cover them all. Instead, why don't you come to the one that says in John fourteen six, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. These are Jesus' words. You can't get to the Father by any other means. Not by me, not by Hatun, not by David Wood, not by by Dr. Al-Fadi, not by Joel Osteen, not by anybody else that you can think of, not even through your Imam or Muhammad. The only way to heaven is by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who died and paid the penalty for our sins. Mark 11:28 says come unto me all all ye that are weary and heavy laden at which weary and labor means the same thing and i will give you rest jesus wants to give you rest and peace peace knowing knowing that you are going to go to heaven. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Did you catch that? Believe in Jesus become baptized and put, and put your total faith in Jesus. Quran says 354 and 830 that Allah is the best of deceivers. If he's the best of deceivers, how do you know he is not deceiving you? Think about that. If Allah is the best of deceivers, as 354 and 830 tells us that he is, because Allah admits to it, how can you be assured he is not lying to you? In 46 verse 9 of the Quran, Muhammad says that he does not know of his salvation and therefore cannot guarantee anybody else's. Wait a minute. Think about this, Mr. and Miss Muslim. Muhammad was the best example of a Muslim, and yet he does not know of his salvation.
Jesus, the only begotten Son of the Father. have came to earth willingly just so he can pay for the penalty of sin. Are you ready to be a Christian? Jesus is waiting but there isn't much time left. The end is drawing near. And you don't want to be left behind. When you are ready, I know of many Christians that would love to help you be saved, and I am one of them. We are not here to hate you. If we were, if we did hate you, we wouldn't be doing what we are doing. We would just let you be and keep the gospel to ourselves. Instead, Jesus said, there are many mansions, and I go to prepare a place. We all can live in heaven. We just need to accept. We just need to accept his invitation. Contact me when you are ready to give up Islam. Thank you and have a great day. And don't forget in the comp in the description area please consider contributing to this particular ministry either through patreon or else through the paypal both links are in the description box